Nation. Hi, my name is Corey Barlock. I'm the director of God of War, and today we're going to go through some tips and tricks on how to survive and thrive in the new God of War. One of the, the big things that we have changed in this iteration of God of War is really focusing on positional and battlefield awareness. So it really pays to keep mobile, to, to use the evade and move around as well as really get friendly with the block. Just right there you can see the block and kind of the parry to allow you to get sort of a, a timing advantage. While some people say, oh, the, the, the health bars are a little bit uh, obtrusive, what they do provide is this sense of strategy that God of War has never really had. This ability to look at some of the harder level enemies and strategize whether or not you want to take care of that enemy first or actually relocate to take care of another enemy. So it gives you a sense of tactics. Throwing the Leviathan Axe on an enemy and freezing him allows you to focus on another enemy. So as you start facing larger mobs of characters and you start seeing harder enemies mixed in with these, you can actually use the Leviathan Axe to pause somebody while you focus on another creature. From a distance, you can actually take out enemies both with Atreus uh, as well as throwing the axe. Never forget the usage of Atreus because Atreus is a, a really great accompaniment he opens up characters, uh, builds up their stun to allow you to do R3 moves so that Kratos can actually get in close and execute an enemy and take care of him quickly. So you're able to attack and defend at the exact same time by using Atreus, which is a huge benefit when you start getting into the more intense fights. But the get out of jail free card of all times is the Spartan Rage. You can go into that, it'll build up stun really fast, and every attack you do is actually feeding back into your health. And a lot of people actually forget that there are multiple buttons for Spartan Rage. So most people will be doing the R1s and not realize that actually R2 is a larger, more area of effect attack. As you get through the game, you can upgrade and get an L1 attack and an L2 attack. So you have a full suite of special moves for your Spartan Rage. So when the Heavy Draugrs attack and there's a little circle, that means that it is an unblockable attack. And that's where the Evade is your friend. We have the two-stage Evade as well. So if you're up close on an enemy and you don't want to move farther away from them, you can actually just single tap on the Evade button and that'll sidestep and still keep you close enough to actually follow up with an attack. Or if you really need to get out of there, say with the Revenant's wide sweeping attack, you're going to want to double tap on that to evade either backwards or to the side. There will be more. So that was just a few tips to help you thrive and survive in the new God of War. Pick it up, play it, and you're going to learn even more. Station.